when's the first time you laced up? When do you remember that? First time you ever put on a pair of skates? Uh, I think I was like five years old. Five years old. Yeah, okay. in Finland, the hockey is the biggest thing, and and uh, all the little kids and and girls too play hockey these days at least some point. Okay, and so when did you realize that you had a special skill for it? Well, I was always fast and a lot of passion for a- any sports, pretty much. But I think uh, not until I was 17, I realized I'm better than other guys. Mm-hmm. And uh, year year later, I got drafted in NHL, and then it has been. Uh, just climbing higher. You know? Well, I mean, what, you still have the record for most goals and points by a rookie. 76 goals your first season. I mean, at some point, were you, were you even surprising yourself at oh, that yeah. point? I didn't realize what I did until like three years after, you know. Uh, but, you know, I was very lucky. When I went there, the table was set up for me. I got right away a chance to play with the best players and, and first power play and... and you know, the confidence what I had. It was almost like snowball going down the hill. I just got more and more, and I got hungrier and hungrier. And it was amazing, uh, amazing journey that first year, especially. Well, did you think, well, this, this NHL thing's easy? Did you think that at that point in time? Not really, but I was shocked that I was able to do so many goals and play well. And, 76, that's yeah, an absurd number. So after that, by numbers, my, my career went downhill. <laughs> so. Only Gretzky, Lemieux, and Brett Hall have scored more. Yeah, in terms know, of that, that's amazing. Um, best player ever played with would be who? Team Mussolini. For myself, maybe uh, Paul Correa. Uh, but I was lucky that I played all my career with the great players, and I got a chance to play with Kretzky in the same line in the All Star game. And what was he, that like? Uh, you know, I was honored. You know, I always he had a, my, I had a, his uh, picture in my wall when I was a young guy, and I always remember '91 Canada Cup. I played. Uh, Team Finland against Canada, first uh, game in old Maple Leaf Garden, and and in the face of he's right beside me, and I, that was nerve wracking. You know, I didn't know how to act. You know, so right. But it was you know a great feeling to realize that I'm playing the same league than my hero. You know, I mean, I mean that you're you're on the same line as Wayne I know, Gretzky. It was dream come true for sure. And he's just one of the nicest guys. He's just like a great human. Being unbelievable, on the guy, what he has done not on, not only on the ice but off the ice, you know, it's it's untouched. You know, like uh, we are very lucky that we have had a guy like him for hockey. So, who was the nastiest guy that you ever? Oh, was by on far, Chris Pronger. He was uh, <laughs> he was a tough. Uh, he was a beast, that guy, and uh, I always hated to play against. You didn't him. even stutter. You just you you pulled Pronger right out right there, huh? Yeah, but you know he's six six and big boy and. But you know what, 2006, uh, you know, we became the teammates and year after we won the Stanley Cup together and great teammate and good guy. And it was fun to be his friend, not uh, yeah, to play against to be him, so. his, <laughs> Right, to be on. So, uh, T. Mussolini here on the Rich Eisen Show. Look, people who are hardcore, supposedly, you know, like, let's just say um, NHL fans, the original six, right? Like the old school places think of southern california as a a lightweight hockey area because we all have beaches and it's 80 degrees outside you have performed here in southern california more than most it's an intense hockey community that's down here in southern california i would love for you to put a little bit of um more meat on those bones what do you think oh absolutely i think you know when kretzky game came in la i think he started that boom about hockey I think he's the reason why we got the teams in Anaheim and, and San Jose. And uh, little by little, you know, hockey has really grown here a lot, you know, and uh, the Ducks and Kings and, and, uh, and Sharks, that they're doing great uh, job with the youth program. And, uh, you know, I think hockey really became a big, big sport here, you know, and obviously Kings won two uh, Stanley Cups and Ducks won. So I think those are so much help for hockey here. and. Uh, you know, I love when when I, my favorite thing in, after the practice when I good practice and you go you go out and it's 80 degrees and right. you see the palm trees and it's just awesome. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when I first moved out here, Timu Solani here on the Rich Eisen Show, I was uh, I lived on the East Coast my whole life and I was on ESPN for a long time and was up there in Bristol, Connecticut, and then I moved out here for the NFL Network, and we worked like crazy, um, and I was inside all the time, and inside you know, chilly sets, and I would walk outside. And I'm like, man, I can't believe I'm missing this day. And then it dawned on me, the next day, the next day, and the next day is just like that. And it's really, 
it's just a, I, I do love living around out here. Yeah, you know, we get so spoiled here, and, not, and the sun and the light, you know, right. that's give you energy. And every every morning when you wake up and you look outside, yeah. and you, you just make it makes you happy. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel two thirty nine on Direct TV for free on BR Live, or download the Rich Eisen Show app.